Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on a data analysis with the help of Python Pandas library. So in this tutorial we are going to see one of the very useful function of the data frame object which is nothing but the map object. So for the map object I have already created some of the sample data set and then we'll apply this map function on the top of this data set. So what is this map? How it will be helpful? First of all this map is helpful and it will iterate over each and every element of individual columns of the data frame object. We can apply this map on the top of individual columns of the data frame object and we are going to see about the three different use cases of this map functionality. So before that let's try to understand this uh, sample data set what I have created. I have created the data set in a data frame object which is having a three different columns first name age and a city very simple data set I have taken and its column name is first name age and a city and one more dictionary object I have created which is nothing but the mapping individuals person city to its individual person country like Mumbai is situated in country India Boston is in the US Sydney in Australia it's the same way so this is all about the sample data let's try to display this data oh sorry actually I have executed this import statement okay let's display this DF object okay so we have total three columns are available first name age and a CT and this is one extra dictionary object I have created which is nothing but the mapping individual city to individual country in which country the particular city belongs to now let's see how this map functionality will we can apply on the top of it so we are going to see all three different uh, use cases for it the first one is this how we can map this dictionary object to one particular column one particular column of this data frame object so how we can do it so suppose we have already in a df object there are total three columns are there suppose we introduce the fourth column and we'll try to map this new column to individuals countries so how we can do it because we have already uh, created one dictionary object which is mapping individual cities to individual country so let's create one more column and we'll understand the functionality of this map function earlier I have all told you that we can apply this map function on the top of individual columns so we'll apply in on to top of city because city is nothing but the input the key value and we will map it to the individual country so individual this individual column df city the city column we will apply this map function and as a argument we will pass it to the city to country so it will what it will do it will create the new column country country and whose value is been defined by this expression so this expression will take city to country as a input and will apply on to top of this city so wherever there is a Mumbai is there it will map to India Boston it will map to US and let's just uh, display this DF again so we'll understand what is the use of this map functionality okay so it has created brand new one more column for us and it has mapped based on our dictionary objects available Mumbai to India Boston to US Sydney Australia Boston to again US and Delhi to India so this is how if you have a dictionary objects available and you want to map this dictionary object from one column to another column this map function is very helpful let's try to understand one more uh, use cases suppose uh, we want to map suppose first name to some new new first name kind of new column and based on some kind of mathematical or a logical operation on the top of it so um, let's do one thing uh, we'll try to just append or uh, we'll try to prefix some common keyword into the first name so wherever jack is there 
will put new underscore Jack Mina is there new underscore Mina Sudhir will become a new underscore Sudhir Amy become new underscore Amy and Lena become new underscore uh, Lena so how we can do it with the help of this map functionality so we'll create the one more column which is nothing but a new underscore first name okay now how we are going to apply uh, this concatenation of new underscore string to the individual first name of the first column so we are going to apply on the top of first name on the top of first name and then we'll apply map inside the map we can write the sum of the lambda expression so we have seen uh, earlier that individual map is just iterating over each and every element so what does this map function in this case will do it will take all individual element and whatever the expression will write inside this brackets it will execute for individual cells of this particular column and column is nothing but our first name column so we'll put a lambda x it will take all indivi individual cells and we'll append or we'll just concatenate concat the new underscore plus whatever the names are available and let's just display it okay so it has created a brand new one more column for us whose name is new underscore first underscore name and the value inside this has been defined based on reference of this first name column and wherever the names are there we are just adding new unders new underscore plus so concatenation of the first name now same way uh, let's try to apply this age to the new age so we can uh, take the same expression here so instead of new first name we'll create let's create a new age and uh, instead of concatenation let's try to do some another mathematical operation like uh, suppose we want to increase the age of e all those persons or all those rows by let's say 5 so 23 becomes a 28 56 become a 61 so x plus 5 and let's just display it okay so it has created another column for us new age so if you see that 23 becomes 28 56 becomes 61 75 80 so all those age were available it has generated the new age column and it has appended phi on the top of it so why this map function is helpful because you do not need to write this for loop iteration and everything map function internally does those iteration kind of work and whatever expression we will write inside this bracket that will be executed for individual cells of the reference column on which we are applying this map functionality so this is how the map function of the data frame object will work so that's it for this lecture friends i hope you enjoy listening this video if you haven't subscribed it yet please subscribe it please do like comment if you don't understand anything bye bye guys